Lester, a very good morning to you once again. Where do we find you at this hour? Well, Rebecca, we're here at the Mullington High School where we await the arrival of Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu. He's, an, he's a, a resident, a long-standing resident here in the community of, of Mullington. He is expected to arrive here at, uh, was expected to arrive at nine uh, this morning. He, we know from seeing him voting in the, in the past, he's an extremely animated character. He enjoys going through the process. And after the last few months, he's been in uh, quite ill health. It's especially going to be a special uh, moment seeing him cast his ballot here in this local government elections. Now, uh, very surprising because uh, Lester, uh, the Archbishop, has, has been very outspoken. He's expressed his disappointment with the government of the day. And uh, many expected that he actually wouldn't come out and vote. Well, we spoke to his media people saying that he wanted to come out and, uh, and uh, show his support for democracy. He could have easily have applied for a special vote where IEC officials come to the homes of the frail and infirm and, and, and give them that option of voting at the, at, the, at the place of residence. But I'm sure this is a, a signal and a sign to South Africa that uh, democracy is so important for us that the chance or the right to vote is still deeply entrenched in, in who we are and after fighting so long in the liberation uh, struggle. So I'm sure this is more than just an issue of, of exercising his personal right but showing South Africans just how important uh, these elections and the right to vote really is. Well, things looking like they're running very smoothly behind you there, Lester. And just looking at Cape Town and the DA, just uh, and, and the confidence that they've had about uh, Cape Town, saying no one's going to take this away from us. Are Cape Townians are they generally happy? Is there a sense of we want things to stay the way they are, and with whom? Well, I'm here currently at Ward 4 in Mulleton, and uh, the presiding officer says there's more than 5,000 uh, uh, registered uh, voters in this area. It's a very strong democratic alliance. Warding. If I can look down this area all the way down, it's probably about 150, long, 150 meter long Kuya. So that just shows uh, the intense support of people coming out here to vote. The Democratic Alliance is that it's bullish about its campaign here. It's looking to do better than the 61% of the, of the vote that they got in last election. But that's not saying that the ANC is not trying to put up a fight over the last three to four weeks. Its election, it's, it's a mayoral candidate rather, Polani Suntash has been crisscrossing uh, the city, trying to get out support, trying to build those old structures but dogged with leadership problems, dogged uh, by uh, community members uh, uh, being dissatisfied by the ward councils that have been put forward by the ANC. It's going to take something special for uh, the ANC to try and put up a fight against a very dominant democratic alliance in the city of Cape Town. All right, well, in the last local government election, there was no EFF, and uh, we know it's mainly been the tussle with the, between the DA and the ANC. We've seen the EFF and its impact in other areas, looking at Limpopo, looking at Johannesburg, looking at places like Marikana as well. Have they managed to even make a little scratch in Cape Town? Well, looking at the, the more uh, urban middle class areas of the city of Cape Town, there's not much of a footprint of uh, the, uh, the economic freedom fighters, but it's provincial chairperson Bernard Joseph telling me that there are significant structures in uh, township areas in the city, and they are saying that they're looking to unseat the ANC as the official opposition in the city of, of Cape Town. It may seem a, a bold task in terms of uh, not having a very big uh, footprint uh, in the city of Cape Town in the Western Cape uh, during uh, the last uh, general elections in 2014. But Bernard Joseph of the EFF telling me uh, that they've put, uh, put significant structures in place. They're hoping to do well in places like Kaya Lecha uh, with people disaffected by the ANC saying that they want to overtake that party as the official opposition in the city of Cape Town. Uh, thanks very much Lester Kivett. He's in Milnerton in Cape Town. That's where Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu is expected to arrive.